Hey guys, this is Sam and today we are taking a look at the new and improved weather app in iOS 8. So if you just look and stare at the home screen of the weather app just where it says Cupertino cloudy 66 degrees, you would say this is the iOS 7 app, why are you showing me something that's been out for well even over a year in beta? But if we take a closer look, there's actually quite a lot that changed in the weather app, a whole lot more than you probably would have perceived just by a quick glance. Number one, I would argue the biggest change is that Apple has completely dropped Yahoo for getting their weather information. Instead, they are now getting all of their weather info from the weather channel, as you can see down below in the bottom left corner of my device. Even if you were in the little menu or group switcher for all of your different locations of weather, down below in the bottom middle, you can see that the weather channel is who now supplies the weather information in iOS 8, which I think is a really good change because Yahoo Weather had some limitations. In iOS 7, you can only see 12 hours in advance while scrolling through weather. But look at how far you can go with the weather channel support in iOS 8. As you see me scrolling through, you can now see up to 24 hours in advance on an hour to hour schedule, which is something that just wasn't possible in iOS 7. Another huge plus of Apple going with the weather channel for all of their weather stats in iOS 8. And they didn't stop there. Now you can scroll down and see a nine day to day forecast right under your current weather and it looks really nice when you scroll down as well you also get a little description of how the weather is going to be the high and the low which reminds me of something that you would ask siri that's also now bundled in with the stock weather app itself also you get sunrise sunset chance of rain humidity wind feels like precipitation pressure visibility and uv index so on iOS 8, many people would have thought that the weather app would be slightly different or even unchanged as it was in iOS 7, but think again because we found some pretty big features in this video. I think all of you guys out there are going to absolutely love the new features of the weather app when iOS 8 is released this fall. If you did enjoy watching the video, as always, feel free to click the like button down below. And if you are interested in seeing more content related to iOS 8, you are more than welcome to subscribe because I talk a ton and pretty much only about iOS here at my channel, some Mac stuff here and there. But I do cover all that stuff, so if you'd be interested, I would really appreciate your subscription. Once again, thanks for watching the video, and I will see you guys later.